So I met up with uh, Deja again. We went to Ben's and we also did a trade. He didn't include his trade in, the, in his video, but I'm just going to do it because I only have two phones. And this video would literally only be like 30 seconds long if I just showed the two phones. So here we go. Uh, here's this Blackberry. What is it? A Storm? Um, Yeah, Storm. Uh, no, it doesn't slide out usually. A lot of the ones I do have. Oh, they do slide out. But uh, this one works. It just doesn't have a battery. Which is kind of stupid, but whatever. I don't really know much about it. Apparently, it's touchscreen. And here's probably the coolest find. And it, well, it's the best thing and coolest find, obviously. But I'm just saying it's a cool find in general. This is a Galaxy S3. And you might be thinking, well, this looks a little different. Because this is a black S3. I think it's dead. Or it might be shut off right now. Yeah, it's dead. I don't feel like charging it. But... It works fine, and, uh, well, it has some, a little bit of burning. It's kind of noticeable. It's like burning of the lock screen. There's, like, the apps down here. It's, like, the time. It's weird. Obviously, this phone was owned by, like, a child because there was a lot of, like, games, and there's, like, a, a when I found this thing, there was a wallpaper of, like, a farting lady or something, so that was interesting. And, okay, so now this, these three things I got in the trade, um, this is a Fitbit. I don't know what model this is, but it it's works. the Ionic. Interesting. It works, but I think, okay, yeah, it's just shut off. I don't really know much about this. I just wanted this for certain things to track it. So, yeah, I not much to say about that one. And, and uh, the next thing I got is this boxed Galaxy, no, not Galaxy, LG G3. And uh, it's this phone is basically brand new. It's actually the one that he just recently got. Um, let's see if I could turn this one on at all. Yeah, it's just shut off, but it works fine. Only issue is it's stuck on US Cellular, and you can't update it to Android 6, which kind of sucks. Hopefully, I can find a way around that somehow, because I'd like this to be on Android 6, because I don't really like Android 4. On It's just kind of old, and you can't really do much with it. Yeah. This would be nicer on Android 6. But it's, this phone is literally brand new, basically. I mean, I because this was like in the seal when he got it, and he just took it off, and he used it like once or twice. So this phone is literally basically brand new. So that's really cool. I can turn it off. Come on. Oh, well. I'll just deal with that later, then. Oh, yeah, he's messing with one of those. And the best thing I got, and you might recognize this phone. Well, not the case, but this is an iPhone X. Um, if I can take the case off, hopefully I can do that with one hand. Like You'll definitely recognize it if I take the case off. Come on. There we go. Yep, this is my old iPhone 10 that I sold to him for like $200, and he doesn't like it, so he traded it back. But it's a lot more messed up now from when I had it previously. So the back's still cracked, obviously. So the face ID no longer works because I, I, some cable got ripped or something. This also has a replacement screen, which is not, it's not OEM, but it's still an AMOLED screen, so that's, it's, it's de still a decent screen. But, uh, and then, yeah, it's still financed AT&T, so that's, Kind of still not good, but oh well. I just wanted this back for nostalgic reasons, and yeah, because I now I have a 10, 10R and 10S, which that's interesting. But uh, I'm, I might use this a little bit, but this also has a brand new battery, technically, so that's also kind of cool. But yeah, this, yeah, this is kind of a messed up iPhone 10, but I just wanted it back just because, and it's still useful for some things. And yeah, and this is just a quick, random little video. I you sound odd in this video, but that's just, I don't know, I really know what to say, so yeah.